guys i'm clearly wearing a mask and today is monday so it is mask monday so i am wearing the i'm avocado mask sheet um i am excited to announce that i decided i am going well i'm going i already did i made a twitter and a facebook page that uh connects to my youtube channel you guys know i already do that over i already do that for instagram i link it in below in every video to my description box and i'll show like behind the scenes um stuff or just like my everyday life there and stories on instagram with facebook yesterday i posted a picture of this mask and i said tomorrow's mask monday guys this is the mask i'm using it'll be a this or that question style video i did the same thing on twitter so if you guys want to follow me over on twitter um and facebook um it is linked in the about me of my youtube page it'll eventually be linked in the description box as well i just haven't had a chance to get to that yet i literally just created these pages yesterday but it's been super fun um i'm loving content creating you guys know that uh that's why i continue to do this after three years um but i don't want to ramble on either so let's get into this this or that i took these questions from mary Catherine loves cats she did them about three weeks ago over on our channel and i wrote them down i will be linking her down below as well if you guys don't follow mary definitely go follow she's such a sweet amazing woman she always ends her videos with like have a blessed day or something like that or i'll oh, count your blessings that's what it is and she's just like so positive and uplifting and that's all what i that's what i want in 2023 so this was the this or that questions so i thought it'd just be fun to do today and number one video games or books and this answer might surprise you no i'm kidding it's not can you guys see what's behind me <laughs> the answer is books um i have played video games in the past i love sims since i moved out of my parents house um I have not played video games. I don't. I have a system. I have a Wii. It's still in a box. Um, but even at my parents' house, I, if I did play, it was once in a blue. My brother's system. I never had my own system. But my brother definitely loves video games. He had a PlayStation growing up. Now he's more into Xbox. I had an ex-boyfriend who was a huge gamer, and once in a blue moon, he would buy games that were for the two of us to play together. So I enjoy video games, but. If I had to pick, obviously it's books. You guys know I do book club every Thursday with Charmaine. So if you guys are into reading, definitely check out Thursday's videos. Uh, we are picking a new book soon. For, we'll be picking a book for March. And I, I got a comment on my video the other day if I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. I definitely have that planned in the books. So if you guys like that kind of content, definitely consider subscribing. Number two is beach or the mountains i'm not wearing my glasses so i have to have the book up right up in my face and you guys know i am a summer baby i was born in august me and joe's anniversary is in august um i have summers off i work at a school why do i love the summers because i love the water i love the pool i love the beach i did the pool so much last year i loved it it was like the, one of the most amazing summers I ever had because I worked summer school, but it was only half days. And my aunt, who literally lives like right off the street from me, has a pool. And I was literally jumping in her pool like literally every day after the summer school program. And I was spending hours in the pool. I was so tan, but it was just so relaxing, just listening to music and floating in the water. And I was also getting exercise, swimming as exercise. I was doing lunges in the water and squats. And that's really good for someone who's bigger like me uh, because I don't know the whole like scientificness of it. But when you're underwater, you're not, you're not causing as much like pain and um, not so much pain. What's the word, word I'm looking for? You're not hurting your joints as much. You're not putting as much weight on your joints. That's why aerobot, not aerobotics. What am I trying to say? There's a whole water sport. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's definitely a thing and I absolutely loved it. So I would definitely pick the beach. I mean, I would take a mountain vacation here and there, but if I had to pick between beach or mountain, it's definitely beach. Number three, silver or gold. So I love both, but when I first started wearing jewelry, like in my teens, I was a silver girly through and through. I did not like gold. And then as I got older, I realized it's the type of gold. I am not a big fan of yellow gold, but like a rose gold or just like a non-yellow, like a white gold, I absolutely love. And now I even do wear like straight gold, not rose gold, not white gold, gold. I just don't like if it looks super yellow, which I guess would be, is that the, the free, a uh, free, I was going to say, is that the fake gold or is that actually the real gold? I don't know. I don't really wear a lot of real jewelry. Um, I wear fake jewelry, uh, sterling silver, you know, nothing expensive. Um, so uh, maybe one day when I have an engagement ring, I'll have some real jewelry. I wanted to see if Joe was going to look up at me when I said that. <laughs> glasses on so i can't see the faces making but he's definitely making some kind of face over there 
<laughs> All right, number four, pancakes or waffles. Uh, this is like a huge debate. Honestly, I don't care. They're both the same to me. I guess if I had to pick, I definitely make waffles more because I have really cute mini waffle irons from Dash. I have one that makes like a heart shape. I have one that makes, um, I wanted to buy the one that makes a skull. I haven't bought that one yet because that one's like only around Halloween time. They have like an Easter bunny one. They have a pumpkin one. I know I have the heart shape and one other shape and it's not coming to me right now. Um, but I definitely make waffles more. Do you care, Joe, between pumpkins and waffles if you had to pick one? If you had to pick between waffles or I said pumpkins, didn't I? Waffles or pancakes, which one would it be? Don't matter. That's what I just said. But some people definitely have a preference. Number five, delivery or shut down restaurant. I'll tell you guys, I have not done delivery since getting with Joseph. Um, Joe literally hates paying delivery fees. And he's like, why? I can get off the couch and do it. Um, we have never done DoorDash. We have never done Uber Eats. Um, it's true. Like all those little fees add up. And Joe is totally fine with taking a, a little drive. He likes getting out of the house. I tell you guys all the time he has ADHD. He's not good at sitting still. So I have not done delivery in a very, very long time. Even like Chinese pizza, you know, the normal delivery, like before Uber Eats was a thing and before DoorDash was a thing. I have not done any of those. And even if I did do delivery, my preference would still be a sit down restaurant. You know, it doesn't have to be super duper fancy. I'm not asking for like a five star meal or three course meal. Um, but I do prefer just sitting down, me and Joe talking about our day and enjoying like the setting of like a restaurant. So I would definitely prefer a, a sit down meal, like a sit down restaurant. Number six, car or truck? Uh, neither. I prefer an SUV. I do have a car though, uh, but Joe has like an SUV style car. And I always say once my car it shits the bed or I'm done with it, I might start shopping this summer. I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm going to get an SUV, especially being a bigger person. Um, I definitely need more room. I had to buy a seatbelt extender for my car, which is fine. I, I have no issue with that. Um, but I, cause I was having trouble reaching. Uh, but even like right now I cannot, I just, the other day I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I had to ask for a tray for one coffee and I felt bad. So I always tell the girl, I'm like, I'm sorry. I just say, I don't have cup holders. Cause I don't want to go into this big spiel. But the truth is I cover my cup holders with my hips. So I cannot put cups in my cup holders. So my, whenever I, that's why I honestly don't go to Dunkin' often, which is good. It's saving me money, but I can't put cups in there. I have to put it on my passenger seat. And obviously I don't want it to spill. I don't always ask for a tray. Um, if I have my purse or like my lunchbox, like if I go after work or before work, sometimes I can tuck it like behind the lunchbox, behind the purse. Um, but yeah, definitely if it's two drinks or more, I always ask for a tray and I'm just like, oh, sorry, I don't have cup holders. So I would love an SUV one day. If I had to pick between car truck, definitely a car. Um, I don't think I could do a truck too wide, too big. Even like an SUV, I would want like a small SUV. Even Joe's SUV is too big for me um the car he had previous to this car i loved it was like the perfect medium because i'm always scared like uh you guys know i got my license late in life i didn't get my license until i was 26 so i'm always scared i'm gonna be like popping off a of mirrors or taking too wide of a turn or i just never was like into super wide cars um so if i had to pick it would be a car over a truck but i definitely would love an suv in the future if you guys have any recommendations maybe i'll start shopping this summer leave them down below Number seven, TV series or movie. I love both. Like if I don't have as much of a time commitment, like, um, you know, the I tell you guys I do my grandmother's meds and insulin. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know, Joe, we're going to go to my grandmother's in like an hour or two. Let's just watch a movie. Like we watched a movie. It was free the other day, I think for Valentine's Day. And it was like love and love on the 10th date or something like that um and we watch the movie but if they if we're me and joe are home for the night i'll be like hey let's start a new series if i had to choose between the two probably a series i just feel like obviously they have more hours versus a movie so they can go into more detail more character development you really get like attached to the character sometimes especially shows that last years and years you know like me i love gilmore girls i love friends i love golden girls um those shows will always be with me i'm always thinking about the characters even like newer shows now like this is us there was no season this year ended last year and i'm like so sad about that um milo vento Nagilia is in a new series so i definitely want to check that out um i even like you even start to fall in love with the actors themselves um 
no amsterdam just ended so i'm like oh man i need to start finding some new series um but i do have quite a few that i watch on like netflix and hulu and stuff so if i had to pick between the two definitely a series but i love going out to watch a movie i might not watch as many movies at home but going out on a movie date is one of my favorite dates me and joe will do like dinner in a movie there's a few like there's like three places to eat near our movie theater like it's in a plaza so a lot of times we'll pick one of those restaurants and we'll uh do a movie and that's a really like cheaper way to go out even though people think movies are so expensive to me i don't think they're that bad you're paying 20 something bucks but you're getting like two two to three hours depending on the movie of entertainment versus where if i you know went shopping or did i could spend a lot more than that that is for sure in less amount of time so definitely tv series um for home to go out I, I love watching a movie number eight morning or night so i'm this weird person who kind of is neither i suck at waking up early i am miserable when my alarm goes off i love sleeping in but i also go to bed very early like i am not a nighttime person at all i will say though like this week i'm on vacation it is um the week of uh winter break here in mass and a few other surrounding states but i know not every state in the u.s has february break but um, I will stay up later now when I'm off. So like my summer breaks, I love the nighttime. Um, but on a normal basis, I suck at waking up early and I still go to bed early. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I still struggle to get up in the morning 99% of the time. So if I guess if I had to pick between the two, it would be night. I would love to be a morning person. I just don't think that'll ever be in me. I, I don't know. Things change as you get older too. That's true. Uh, but I guess I would have to go with night on that one. And the last one, number nine, this one doesn't really matter to me either, but it's toilet paper. And I know people have this debate whether it goes over or under. Guys, I do not pay attention to that. Uh, I do not have OCD like that, I guess. You know how many times me and Joe don't even put it on the roll? We just leave it sitting on top. <laughs> but when we do put it on the roll, I don't put it a specific way. I just put it on and go. Sometimes it's over, sometimes it's under. It really does not make a difference to me. Um... I guess if I absolutely had to pick, probably under. I know most people say over. That's even what Mary Catherine said. But if you watch her video, it's for the same exact reason. If you have a cat, it's a lot easier for them to get to it when it's over. Versus when it's like they are dangling, they want to play with it. When it's under, it's less noticeable because it's against the wall. At least where my toilet paper holder is. So yeah, that was the nine. This or that questions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will be linking Mary Catherine Loves Cats down below. She does unboxings and hauls and Mask Mondays. Definitely go check her out. I love her. She is so, so sweet. Um, she grew really quickly. And I think it's just because she says such a like amazing soul when you watch her. Um, I rem She shouted me out once. And I got tons of new followers because of her. And I appreciate her so, so much. Um... She definitely has like a community of people behind her and that's amazing. Um, like I said, I will link her down below. But that is it. On Mask Mondays, I do, um, on Mask Mondays, I do masks. Uh, duh. On Mondays, I do Mask Mondays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my unboxings and hauls. Except certain times of the month, it might be a bundle battle with Wendy. Or it might be a Beat the Blues collab um, follow through with Charmaine. Um... Like I do have a follow through with Charmaine for next week on the Tuesday. And then I have a bundle battle with Charmaine on the Wednesday. So, um, you know, with Wendy. So next week I will have no unboxings or holds. And that's honestly my goal. I want to have less unboxings and less holds. I'm trying to shop a little bit less. I'm branching out. Thursdays are book club videos with Charmaine. Friday are vlogs. I do plan on filming a lot during my vacation. I'm going to do some days in the life and stuff like that. Uh, they tend to be vlogs or cooking videos or something along those lines. And then Saturdays are my outfits of the week. I film my outfits throughout the week. When I get ready for work, although I don't, well, I do have one for today because I'm going out after this, but I might not be going out as much this week since I'm off, so I might not have as many outfits, but generally you're going to see outfits Monday through Friday for work, and then Sundays are self-care Sundays with Hope. I, we just didn't have one this week that just passed because it was her birthday, so she had a birthday collab. Um, I actually did watch her video, and I watched the C's video. Um, they did like an amethyst look because that's the birthstone for her birthday, Purple's my favorite color. It looked beautiful. Happy birthday. Hope you're watching this. Definitely go check out her videos. I will link her and the C down below. Um, Go check out that collab. I I know how, um, Hope's doing a giveaway. I don't know if everyone in the collab is doing a giveaway. But um, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Um, Be safe. Count your blessings.